Is this on? Can you hear us? Is this thing on? Can you hear us now? Can you hear us now, guys? They so, so they can't hear us. They can't hear us. It's on. The oh, microphone's no. on. It's okay, they said they can hear us now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. You have it on mute. Accidentally mute. Everybody us. on mute. Yeah. Sit mm -hmm. around, everybody on. Huh? <laughs> There's always someone in it. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> I miss those videos. I actually miss them. Oh. Um, guys, <laughs> put one in the chat if you went to see Beyonce on the Renee Fields tour. Anyway, um, let's do it again. Ready? Go. Hey, hey YouTube, YouTube, what is it, Charlie? I'm Anime. I'm Shay. I'm okay. And you're watching Shakespeare. So thanks for joining us again, guys. Um, yes, this is our Big Brother UK reaction. What episode is this? Oh, uh, nineteen. Wow. Is okay, nineteen. Yeah. So, what, are we nearly at the halfway mark? Oh, God, I hope so. When is the halfway mark? I no. think I, I think we are at the halfway mark. Yeah. Here. Oh, thanks, Jesus. All right, guys. So please like this video and follow all of our social medias in the one of the corners. Um, and make sure you subscribe to our Vivo because we do music. Thank you. All right, let's start. All right, I've got here. So it was pre eviction. Um, before they announced that uh, Honey was going, so um, it was the 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 crowd was shouting, you know, get uh, whatever. Yeah. I still heard get carry out. Yeah, I did. Apparently, people were saying they heard get knocky out. I, I can't say I heard that. There was one person, yeah, yeah. one girl. I remember something on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> one girl mm. shouting it. Other than that, I didn't hear anyone say knocky. Mm. But um, yeah, so I got here. There was a bit where Henry and Jordan were saying it to Trish. That there was a oh, oh, I definitely heard. I definitely heard them saying, "Yeah." Name. So it was after um, the eviction, right? Well, so after Halley went, yeah, it was oh, after yeah, Halley yeah. went, and then um, Henry. Yeah, you're right. Henry and um, Jordan cornered cornered Trish, mm. and basically said to Trish, "Yeah, I think Trish said, oh, Trish, she's already well, that's like, yeah, that she, that she didn't hear it. Mm. I, I don't think a lot. I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't hear it. It was only when." I saw the, the the meme going around of the of the girl saying it. Mm. Yeah, but I I didn't hear it. Guys, let us know. Did you hear it? Did you hear people saying I'm lucky? I never heard it. I heard a couple of Dylans. Mm. Yeah, someone saying they did hear. Oh, okay. Someone said they heard get Tom out. Oh, I didn't hear that. Someone said I heard get Nucky out. There was one person. I think they showed it on. The, it was she was trending on Twitter. One woman, like literally, when the place was silent, she screamed get Nucky out. Yeah, but the majority of the crowd was talking. Was saying Kerry. <laughs> Yeah, we're saying Carrie. So. Yeah. All right. Anyway, um, next. Yeah. Then I've got Trish when she went to the dining room. Mm, oh, so she was happy. She was just happy doing a little happy dance. Ah, oh, it was so cute. It was nice seeing her happy and yeah. smiling, and she looked so pretty as well. Mm, yeah. I, I really like that bit. I'm trying to think. If, oh, okay. Wait. So she, in during that dining room um, time, she mentioned that <coughs> Dylan. She's mm. basically finding Dylan fake. That, um, that he's, wearing she, he's a mask. yeah, that his mask really slipped when he was up for eviction. That she noticed a change, mm. and she's like waiting to see if other people are noticing. Mm. But yeah, other people are noticing now. Mm. So you're not alone, girl. Mm. But yeah, so that was interesting. Did she say anything else in the diary? Mm, not really. She just said she knows. She knows she's being a cow. Yeah, she was cutting Dylan. Cow, yeah. yeah, that was it. Really. Yeah, and then um, I've got here uh, Henry, Jordan, Trisha, Matty, and Yinrin. Talk about um, okay, they were all talking about how they thought Dylan. So they were all upstairs in that. Um, I don't even know what that area is. I don't know, but they the were VIP, upstairs. The VIP lounge. Yeah. So they were there, and then they were talking about how they thought Dylan was going to go. And I think Matty was like, "Oh, that he actually didn't see it." Like, so yeah, mm. that's when Trish was like, mm, "That she's not sure about Dylan yeah. at the moment. Like, she's not really sure about him." She said she thought that people would see Dylan through her lens. Yeah. yeah. And then Matty said, "Well, I don't see him yeah. through your lens." Yeah. So she said. Just wait, wait and see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally say wait and see. Yeah. And then up pops Dylan. I was like, oh god. And then mm. Dylan walks in it, so they kind of have to they they kind of change the yeah. subject. And then Dylan's like talking about chicken. Oh, he's like, yeah, that's right, not good. Chicken, right, right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Everyone has one piece. Yeah, Everyone... no. <laughs> I, was like, I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. The yeah. thing is, though, oh, shut up. The, the, the thing is, right? Dylan is right. He is right, but it's the way he does it is that it's winding people up because he, he is right. Yeah. Like somebody has to monitor the way the food is being eaten. Otherwise, no one's gonna have any. So he is right, but it's the way he's doing it, yeah. it is coming across it's a bit of a yeah, He yeah. is right, and also as well, I think that 
they had a meeting where they all decided that it was going to be every man for himself. Mm. So he just needs to get over it. Yeah. Didn't he try and blame Trish for that a lot? Trish well, said, it, no, well, she brought it up. put the idea out there and everyone well, voted. He said, next week, me and you, Trish, need to sort it out. And then she said, how did I get dragged into yeah. this? Mm. And he said, well, it was your meeting. Yeah. And she said, yeah, but... It was, it, like, it, was it, was also, everyone... it was her idea, though. Yeah, but she didn't fault. She didn't drag people's neck, telling them to agree. She made a suggestion. Yeah. Because obviously the, 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 the food keeps on being... The topic of, of their argument keeps on being an issue. Yeah, so she made the, the discussion, she made the suggestions, and then they they chose what they wanted to go with. Yeah, so, she just had the idea. She didn't force people. But... Yeah, yeah. So that was interesting. And then what else was that? Oh, okay. I've got it next that um, Jordan was sitting at the table, and then Henry for some reason crawled under the table, and then they had a little smooch. Jordan and Henry had a little smooch under the table. Did they? <laughs> yeah. I must have missed that. It <laughs> uh, might be when you were sleeping. So you fell Where asleep was... a few times. Oh, okay. did you get it? Was it? Oh, okay. No, no, I did. I did get that. Bit. I thought it was just a peck. Well, it, it was, was under the table. You hear the table. noise. So, oh, so it was exactly. a proper kiss then. It sounded it's longer a... than usual. Really? Oh. Yeah. For it, it sounded a bit longer. It sounded a bit wet. Jordan's bored. <laughs> yeah. Jordan's he said it. Bored. He more and, and, said and it. And Henry's catching feelings. So oh, gosh, yeah. you know, it's it's definitely going to be a bit of a. It's gonna end in tears. Yeah, it's gonna end in tears. And Matty ain't giving Jordan the attention he actually wants. Yeah, so now he's moving back. He's using Henry, and that's what he keeps on saying, isn't it? I go back to you, and can you imagine? He's said it in his mouth. Henry, man. Henry's a doormat. Henry's a doormat, isn't it? Maybe he's used to that being a doormat. Yeah, because he's just taking it in his stride. He's laughing. He's hilarious. He loves that shit. All right, and then what have I got? Okay, so. Um, okay, there's another. Bit. Oh, sorry, I missed that bit. Um, oh god, I missed a lot. Uh, Jenkin and Tom talk about Dylan in the garden. So basically, they're basically starting to see what Trish is talking about. Was that before Tom? Was that before Jenkins got angry with Olivia for saying? Yeah, so it's like yeah, you, you skipped it. a bit. What? 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 So, 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 Eli- so Jenkins um was in the. Oh, so Olivia was talking, talking about... to Kerry. Yeah. And basically, because Kerry was saying, why do you think Hallie went? Oh, okay, I missed all that. Yeah. And then Olivia says, well, obviously, I think that, you know, that she she, she was in a lot of ruckus. But I do think as well that the public, some public, the public are not going to really be um, supporting the trans thing. Yeah. So Chanel was there when they said that. Yeah. Chanel tried to kind of like dismiss it. Yeah. Like, mm, I, Even you know, Carrie did as well. Even Carrie was like, really? Carrie, well, she didn't dismiss it, but she was acting shot like, really? I think, Chanel, I think Chanel was more dismissive. Yeah, Chanel, yeah, yeah, I feel like Chanel. Chanel's got this thing that she does where it's like, oh, it's not that big a deal. Oh, it's like she's got this thing. Yeah, where... she, that's that's actually what she said. She yeah, said it's not that big. She, like... she didn't think it was a big deal. Anyway, Jenkins came over and Jenkins overheard the conversation, and then he was quiet. He didn't say anything, but then he went outside and said that he wasn't happy with what Olivia said. I thought it was a little bit weird what what Jenkins why Jenkins was upset because I think Olivia was just making an observation yeah. and it was a valid one. Honestly, like, you know, it, it was a valid one, but the what was interesting to me was Jenkins was like, you know, there's a lot of us that are in minority groups here. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, she's talk, he's talking about black, LGBT, and um, whatever. And then he said, So does that mean that um Zach went because 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 he's different? And I just he thought, didn't say that. He didn't yeah, say but that. That, was, that, that was kind of the language that he used. What he said, was... what he said is that they didn't go because of racism. So why are you basically making yeah. Harry going for? So, well, it's, it's, and that's the same thing. The bottom line is, is that he is basically trying to say that he doesn't think that whatever, whatever they, whatever thing they have that is different about them. So whether it's that, the reason, yeah, was the reason why they left. But I think that that is dismissive. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. I think that is dismissive because it, that is just to me, he's white male privilege is screaming out. Yeah, is screaming yeah. out like the yeah. way that I didn't understand that whole thing. Like I was mm. thinking, why would you that, say like, that? Like obviously, it's 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 a part of like to pretend that people aren't transphobic, yeah, or in, racist in the UK. Yeah, but let's just talk about the transphobia because that's that's what the main conversation was about. No, because he he's the one that brought race into it. No, n- yeah, but he was he was doing it because it all started from the trans. Yeah, mm-hmm. but let's talk about the let's talk about the trans thing. I personally think that that was a valid. Observation for Olivia to make, yeah. yeah. Olivia to say, well, there might not be the whole reason, but it, there are going to be some people mm. that are not going to be off, are not going to be supportive of that. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, that could have been a reason why she, one of the reasons why she got nominated. Mm. 
And like you said, it's it's also valid that Farida got nominated because she's a hijab way, wearing wearing um, um, Asian woman, and Zach is. What is he? Is it East Asian? Yeah. yeah, yeah, East Asian. Do you know what I mean? South so, Asian. He's East Asian. Yeah. So at the end of the day, to 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 for for him to say that you're right, that was his white male privilege speaking out. Do you know what I mean? So um, yeah. So anyway, whatever. I'm I'm not really a Jenkins fan anyway. I'm not really. I don't mind him. He's just there, isn't it? If he goes, yeah. he goes. I, like I don't him. mind him, but I, 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 the, the comment that he made today just remind you know you, you know people do things in it and they remind mm. you who they are. Anyway, okay. um, I'm trying to think what else did I miss out now? Okay, so then you now went to what you said about Jenkins talking and cussing about Dylan. Okay, yeah. So I don't know if anything else happened in between that, but yeah, so it was Jenkins and Tom. I think they were just having the gossip. Yeah. And he was just saying how annoyed, like he just finds Dylan quite annoying now. And he's just the way he talks to him, he doesn't really like it. And um, when he's in the kitchen, I think he was moaning about how he only has a piece of toast. And uh, <laughs> soft cheese. I don't even have butter. <laughs> no, that was that was during the game. Mm. Was it? Yeah, yeah that yeah, was during yeah. the game. Oh. But during that bit, he was basically saying how he doesn't like the way Dylan speaks to him. That he thinks Dylan is quite rude, rude to him. Yeah. And he's like, even Trish. Because he didn't said, talk to yeah, him even that. Trish basically pointed it at him. Is that, is that mm. Trish asked him? Is that how he speaks to you? Is that how he always speaks to you? And then he was like, um, oh yeah, no, it's just it's just banter. And she's mm. like, oh, all right. Kind of thing, yeah. Even though it's not that yeah. but obviously he's he's trying to he's he's trying not diffuse, but what's the word? He's trying to uh, uh, avoid diffuse. the conflict. Yeah, because yeah. he said avoid... he laughs it off. Whenever yeah. like, he even thinks Dylan's rude, but he just laughs it off because you know me, he's the one being rude to me, and I'm the one laughing it off, kind of thing. Mm. Obviously, he's yeah, obviously. I, I, I think they've all seen that Dylan has got a bit of a temper, so I think that they, yeah. So I think that they, I think that they're all trying to avoid having conflict with him, but at the end of the day, you're going behind and you're chatting shit. And also uh, as well, I do think that they don't want to piss off the cook as well. Yeah, but I feel like he's they the want one, the cook. He's, he's the one... Mm, I actually feel like they want to I, make I, their own food when they want. I Yeah, I do think they do. I think they want to make their own food when they want as well, but I do think that they want home-cooked meals. And that's what he's... Do you know what I mean? He's making them their dinner. All these, all, all um, Jenkins is doing is making toast. And with a bit of cheese, you know what I mean? But at, it, well, at least Trish, Trish can fend for herself, innit? Like, she makes steaks. Like, she can actually cook. Mm, but people, the rest of them are... are off with that, though, innit? No, they are. But what I'm saying is that the rest of them are relying on Dylan to actually cook because it, it seems like they can't really cook. I mean, look at Kerry. Mm. Do you know what I mean? She nearly burnt the house down just from making croutons. So it looks like even though they're irritated by Dylan, they need him to cook or they want him to cook. And I think that's... I do think that's part of the reason why Jenkins isn't standing up to him. I don't know. Uh, you know. Don't I'm so getting even. a different. I think I, I, I think he's trying to avoid conflict. Yeah. That's what I think. I, I, I generally mm. feel well, like because they way they're moaning back. constantly about chicken and whatever. Talk to him or make your own food. Like mm. I actually understood when he was ranting. I got it. I got mm. it because I'm like, stop. You're ungrateful. Yeah. Cook your own fucking food. I agree. I, I I understood Dylan. They're all just gossiping about him. Go and talk to him. Mm. Say, can you make something, add something else to the menu, mate? Or sorry. Mm. Well, there ain't anything well, else. Well, <laughs> then starve, <laughs> innit? Why are you moaning for? Yeah. It's just annoying. Anyway, so then I got here. Um, uh, Yinran and Trish were talking about Noki in the bedroom. Mm. So Yinran basically was talking to Trish, saying, yeah, that um, she only has like surface level chats with. Um, Okay. Noki and like you know she doesn't really know what to do and then Trish's like why, why, why do you think that is mm. like um, you know it's like I don't know and then Noki's like yeah because you don't have surface level Trish. chats with me sorry Trish was like you don't have surface level uh, chats with me so and then Noki you... walked in then Noki walked in you know, yeah. yeah but then before Noki walked in Trish said don't you think maybe it's something that you need to work on I thought I thought that was important. Mm. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she yeah. did. I, I I was happy that Trish wasn't slagging Noki off. Yeah. yeah. So that that was nice. I get yeah. nervous about that now. Mm. Yeah, but I, I liked that. I liked the fact that she put it on you know, Yeah. And basically said, you know, maybe you need to work hard on it. Mm. Like ask different questions. Yeah. Do something. Don't, yeah. don't put everything on Noki. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, Noki walked in mid combo, and then it was so awkward because mm. then Noki. Was she was like going to the mirror, yeah. doing a lip gloss or whatever she while they were talking. To listen, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> started like massaging her shoulder. Then, mm. then she started touching her, stroking her hair. I was like, what is mm. happening? It just looks so weird. It looks so weird. To me. I, I I don't think we're gonna have many more um, shots of of 
I don't know, videos of Trish talking about Noki. I think Trish realised what she did mm. in that conversation mm. with Henry and mm. thingy. And I think, she, I think she caught it, which is why she, her conversation with um, yeah. Yinran went the way it went. Because mm. it could have gone a different way. But I, I think that she realised that, yeah, I didn't handle that well yeah, with, um, with, yeah. It, 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 does, it don't look good. You have a black woman backbiting. It, it doesn't look good. So Especially Trish, with the two white guys. I'm sorry. Exactly. That was the worst mm. for me. When she was talking, she wasn't even saying much of the talking. <laughs> it was obviously Henry and Jordan, but the fact she was there and... Yeah, but, I mean, she good, gave, um, she literally gave them permission. I know, to stagger off but that's, and, and, that, that, that's not Paul. That's, so like I'm, I'm happy the way she handled the conversation with Yimran today. Mm. So, yeah, anyway. She definitely caught it, especially, like, right after the nomination, uh, uh, um, the eviction, mm. when Jordan and Henry were saying, oh, they heard the crowd. Yeah. Like, Trish didn't comment. She didn't, mm. you know what I mean? So she, she, definitely, she definitely caught her. So, so hopefully, you know, she, she keeps it at this at this level and there's no more because... I just wanted to have a chat with Noki. She probably has, but they ain't shown it. Yeah. I, want her to, I want her mm. to chat. Oh, no, it might not work in Trisha's favour, but I feel like, I, I wish someone would just talk to Noki and say, look, the people you're choosing to make your alliance with, they don't like you. Yeah, but remember, I, Trish made a comment today and she said oh, she's not doing that anymore. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because she, she's realised that it ends up backfiring. Yeah. So she's not, she's not going to... Yeah, yeah. She's not going to do it. But it's just a... All she I needs to do is just Nokia don't repent. slag Noki off. That's it. As yeah. long as you don't slag her off, everything else is not her problem. Mm. Um, okay. Then I've got here. Henry and Jordan are upstairs complaining. Oh, yeah. I'm not that. That's when they were upstairs moaning about chicken and mints. And then oh. they hid behind a chair. Mm. They was hiding from Trish. Then, okay. The task came now. So BB's task was the venting machine. So all the housemates had to basically vent to the, to the venting machine. Mm. Um, <laughs> I didn't write any of that, Dan. So the first one was um, Kerry, Olivia, Olivia, and um, Paul. Paul. Mm. All I heard Kerry was say was sausage. Yeah. That's all I heard her say. Like, I didn't even hear her say anything else. That's all I heard. Sausages. Yeah. Then Olivia was cussing um, Dylan about the toilet seat. Oh yeah. Um, and then Paul was basically cussing Noki. Yeah. Cousin Noki without saying Noki's name, but we all know. Yeah, it. basically saying, you know, he don't want people getting involved in his business, chatting mm. about him. Yeah. Oh, just... I know. So... Uh, I, I, I hate the word hate, but I hate him. <laughs> I really I, don't I, like He just looks like he smells. I'm trying to understand... Smell, he smells of piss. Yeah, I'm he trying like to understand what it is that everyone's dying over, but apparently he's the, he's the best looking man in the house. Trish so. is sexy. Like, yeah. Where? <laughs> There I must be something. There what? must be something. That maybe he's just not photogenic. I think. I think because he's the only straight man in the house. Well, Dylan is as well. But, oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, 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 maybe that's what it is. Actually, Tom's straight as well. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what it is. There's got to be something about them. Maybe be it's because he was walking around topless. But even his yeah. Ooh. Zach, I uh, understood. But mm. uh, Paul, I don't get it. I'm sorry. But then, did you hear um on um the late and live? Yeah, Halle. Halle. When Hallie said, oh, that Zach is more Olivia's type, not mm. Paul. Yeah. I, was like, okay. I think Olivia just lacks the attention. Mm. She's just like enjoying the attention. And obviously she knows that Paul fancies her. So she's mm. just whatever, innit? Mm. Some entertainment in the house. Paul's forbidden fruit for her, innit? Because he's got, he's got he's a got girlfriend. A girl. yeah. But then the, the, the audience in Late Night was saying how they think there's sexual tension between Paul and Noki. I've, I've been We've seen, been saying I've been, that. I've been seeing that online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been seeing that on Twitter. I've, I've been he hates it because it's we internal in racism. We said it in the beginning that we thought that there was something between Paul and Noki. We did say that. Maybe in the you. Know. I, 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 I was saying that I don't know if he. I, I was saying that he likes Olivia, and then mm. that Zach likes Noki. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Zach. yeah, it was Zach. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then, yeah, I think because why is he so angry with Noki? Like, I just feel like he takes all his anger out with Noki. Mm. And as someone, someone we know said, oh, it might be that he's taken out his. Um, Sexual. Internal racism because mm. he, he's racist and he's probably angry that he fancies knocking. Mm. <laughs> so that's oh, why he's so angry with her. And that makes sense because mm. the anger is not making sense. She didn't even, but up until the time when she mentioned that uh, that he wrote down Olivia's name or mm. whatever in that game, she hadn't done anything. But he was so angry at her that he directs all his anger at her for some reason. Well, you know, time will tell. Time will tell. You know, hopefully, Noki stays in long enough for, for us to see this that whole thing evolve. Um, okay, so next up was um, Noki and Dylan. 
Taylor, oh, I think Taylor was just shouting about the chicken nuts. again. Mm. Just shouting if you don't like the fucking food, cook he, it yourself. Um, he said, get up and cook it yourself instead of complaining. Basically, Kerry, get up. <laughs> get off your face. And... I thought you liked cooking. <laughs> 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 Kerry's a fool. It's actually acts dumb, isn't it, when she mm. wants to. I thought she was being, oh. I thought she was being um, sarcastic. I didn't think yeah. she was being serious. And then um, Noki, what was it Noki even saying? Nothing. That was a waste I, of time. I, I, I was trying to understand. That's, that's why they only gave her one little tiny bit of sushi, in it? Because Big Brother was kind of like, if you're not going to play this game, then you're not getting they nothing. Get even Matt was like, give us more. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what did she I, say? I don't know. It was so she Oh, she's talking about a dirty cup or something. Yeah, that people don't do the washing up. That they they leave like um, tea rings. They leave ring stains in the oh, cups. Yeah. I think, I mean, it's fair. That's a valid thing. I think, I think they wanted us to shout, innit? They wanted us to... Stop the stop being so nicey, nicey, nicey and, and yeah. You know. Okay, so next up was um Yinren and Matty. Okay, Yinren, <laughs> you're saying that everyone swears too much uh, that she's never heard so much swearing in her life. Yeah. She heard, she's heard more swearing in the house than she has in the whole time she's been in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> I'd laugh. And then I think Matty said that uh, he's sick and tired of seeing pubic hairs in the oh, shower. God, that would. I, I don't. I don't even know how I would cope with that. Pack my I think I would need to like deep clean. I would need to bleach the um, <laughs> blitz. <laughs> yeah, I would need to bleach the shower before I get in. Mm. That would that would make me vomit. That's disgusting. It's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Then I think it was um, next was Trish and Tom. Uh, Tom Trish? basically was cussing um, Kerry. Basically, said, how can Kerry be stupid enough to put plastic in the oven? Oh, yeah. I didn't even hear that. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. yeah he cost Kerry. Shame. And then um, Trish basically said, you know, I'm a feminist and I like to talk about women's issues. And I don't mm. understand, you know, what kind of, you know, what kind of hatred do you have towards women? That, that pisses you off. Mm. Then she said that people claim that they want yes. honesty. When but you can't, it. Mm. Yeah, you can't handle it. Yeah, you can't handle it. I liked it. That people that. are fake. Then they showed Paul. And um, they showed um, Chanel. Chanel, yeah, yeah. Then I think after um, Trish, it was um, Jenkins and Chanel. Oh, mm. oh Jen- Jenkins was talking about his pooing. Bum. He has peppery poo. Because mm. because <laughs> he, he puts too much pepper. Spice. In. Yeah, but he's probably just using black pepper. Literally, as well. like how much pepper can he really be using? But anyway, yeah, he's moaning that he has poos that hurt his bum. Mm. <laughs> oh, Chanel's one. I am. Oh, she goes, what did she say? I've got a backbone. Yeah. I don't like confrontation, but I have a backbone. Mm. Oh, shut up. Just just like, get like, out. Just, 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 seriously, I need, I need Chanel to be up. Yeah. I need Chanel to be up so we can vote her out. No, I, she I can though. use all my 20 I think if she's up, I think she might go. I don't know. It, it depends, depends on who she's, she's up against, doesn't exactly. it? Yeah. Mm. If she's up against Dylan, I think Dylan will go. Nah. Yeah, really? Up, yeah, if she's up against Dylan, Dylan will stay. Dylan will stay, you know. I feel like Dylan will go. All right, so last it was Jordan and um, oh, Henry. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I can't even well. remember what um what Henry said, but Jordan. He was... said something about you cheating on him. He brought that up. Oh, oh yeah. okay. And then Did Jordan... he mention the food as well? And then Jordan lit the floor. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Jordan <laughs> was talking about, I don't know, but yeah. The Coke. He, I think he's having diet Coke. And then Jordan, and, and then he said that Paul needs to stop. Talking about his shits or, or, or stop farting so, or whatever. Like and burping. <sighs> whatever. Um, yeah, I don't understand why Jordan keeps licking shit. That was, <laughs> licking so, shit. That was so disgusting when he hit the floor. What about when, you know, when they had that task when they had to eat like horrible food? Like, oh, when he, he, he when was, he licked the vomited oh. and he licked it off the duvet. I was like, but that's what he said though, isn't it? He? he said when he goes out, he, he people vomit on him. But does he lick it? Oh, maybe he does. Is, maybe he does. Gross. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else have I got? Okay, then I've got when um Tom, Olivia, and Paul played a prank on Kerry. I don't know if that was the next bit. <laughs> the, the, they basically got a lettuce out of their fridge and just started ripping it and throwing it on Kerry. I don't even know how that's, that's a prank. Literally, she was, was just, sleeping, didn't it? She was yeah, sleeping. but it's not a prank. No, it's yeah. even because she woke up by the time they came. She she was she was watching them. And I just watching so them. It's not a prank, them. is it? Like if she was sleeping when they did it, then okay, then it would be funny because she would woke up and found a plate or something. But she was actually awake and they were just chucking. Yeah, it was, it was a bit weird. Rubbish. And then obviously Matty wasn't happy because that's his food, isn't it? Because Matty's a vegetarian, so but you don't eat everything else. Well, well that's true. I saw my sausages. Maybe they were. Maybe, Maybe they'll yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. 
It's oh, with sausages. Mm. Yeah, so that was boring. Rubbish. Uh, what else? So anyway, they mm. all went... The bit that I've got next is that they all went out. No, I think there was a conversation about that, actually. I think Trish brought it up. I think Trish was talking to Yinra and, and Matty about it, about them doing the prank. Yeah, on, okay, that's what I had next. Yeah, on... They said that uh, he gets Paul, that he keeps getting away with things. Yeah, she was saying, because he's so sexy. I don't Because Paul's it. so sexy. <laughs> when she says, what? She keeps saying it! I'm in shock. Because Paul's so sexy, that's the reason why he gets away with things. I was like, mm, are we all looking at the same thing? Oh, anyway, oh. maybe, maybe he's sexy, I don't know, guys. <laughs> Is, is Paul sexy? Can put a one in a chat no? if he's sexy. Put yeah, a one it's, in a it's, chat. It's, it's, yeah, put a one in a chat from number one to ten. How sexy is Paul? Because <gasps> maybe we're not seeing what everyone else is seeing, but mm. apparently Paul is so sexy yeah. that he's able to get get away with things. So sexy. You could put a minus if you want. Yeah, one. but apparently he's so sexy that Trish keeps on saying in every episode how sexy Paul is. <laughs> oh, that was so, bad. Obviously, I'm Trish is seeing something that we're not seeing. Mm. Oh, no, there's a few zeros. <laughs> but anyway... um. So after that happens, Dylan, Trish, Yinran, and um, Kerry were sleeping. Okay, you skipped an end. Yeah, they were sleeping in the room when the rest of the housemates were having like a, a play fight in the in the main lounge. So after they finished the playing fight now, they now started migrating to the bedroom. And when mm. they got into the bedroom, it continued. they now started pillow fighting. And, and I was surprised that Noki was, was involved. Well, initially, was initially she was saying she didn't want to be involved in it. She was saying, I want to go and shower. But they roped her in and she, you know. Because when I was watching it, I was thinking they're, tomorrow, they're probably going to end up calling saying that Noki was, they're going to make it about Noki. Mm. Yeah. Even though they were all doing it. So, yeah, yeah I was thinking Noki, man, don't allow them to drag you into this business because Sure, they're they're going to be happy. calling you. You're not going to be calling anybody else. They're she's just happy to be part of it, isn't it? They're, they're just going to make you fall out of you. Uh, you forgot a bit where um, they were in their garden. I think it was Olivia, Jenkins, maybe Paul. I can't remember. But um, this is when Kerry was sleeping. And Olivia was basically saying, oh, that now Hallie's gone. She feels like the burden of Kerry mm. basically is going to fall on her. And she... She feels a bit guilty because mm. she kind of wants to be out with friends. the young people, and then mm. she feels like obliged to kind of hang around with the old, the old lady. Mm. So yeah, so that was interesting. And then Jekka said, "Well, you know, it's your experience too." Mm. That was quite an interesting conversation. Yeah, yeah, it was interesting, but you know, Kerry obviously, needs ob- obviously, Olivia needs to um, build her alliances, isn't it? Mm. And it's not enough, and it carries only one vote. Yeah. So, she, you know, in other words, she, she, see you later, Kerry. <laughs> Let's hope that she gets nominated because she didn't get that many nominations this week. Who? Kerry. Mm-hmm. I think she got like one. They focused on yeah. Trish. Yeah. And so, Dylan. let's, let's, let's hope. I don't think Kerry, I think, I feel like Kerry's falling under the radar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I don't, don't think people will know. Anything, yeah. I don't yeah. think Kerry's going to be up this week. I think it's going to be, I think it will probably be Dylan again. Yeah. Well, actually, let's talk about this week. So, oh. <clears throat> So, so obviously it's Halloween, and the housemates they revealed today on Late and Live that the housemates are given a Halloween task. So I think it's something revolving around a Ouija board, and basically part of the task is one of the housemates ends up becoming possessed. Mm. So that person that becomes possessed automatically has immunity, and they're able to save somebody else. <laughs> but in addition to that, those two people that become immune. Put out, have to nominate three people to go up for the, the public vote, vote. Yeah. but nobody in the house knows. knows. So and basi- the three side. people that are up don't know that they're up. Yeah, yeah. basically. Oh. And, and apparently there's going to be a flash vote tomorrow. Mm. So oh. I'm Why assuming... going to be a flash eviction tomorrow? I, no, I, I, think it's gonna mid- I think it's going to be a midweek eviction. Yeah. I remember when they used to do it. Mm. I don't remember what season it was, but there was one guy. They were having a, the house was having a party, mm. yeah. and then Big Brother called one person to the diary room, mm. and then that was literally his his eviction. Mm. So from the diary room, he went to a side door. Yeah, I wanted to do that. Yeah. Oh, I would cry. Yeah. So someone, so Devon said actually, yeah, Devon, <laughs> that they revealed that during the Ouija board game, the Big Brother had told them to chant for Reader's name. Oh, yeah. And they chanted mm. Frida's name five times, and then literally uh, Madame Two Swords. It was um, her. It was her. It was actually her face. It was actually Frida. It was so scary. Yeah, with it was blue actually light. Her. Yeah, it was her face. It was actually her. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it was really her. I think it was her standing. 
in there, yeah. That is horrible. It was yeah. so scary. Like, like, I thought it was a statue. Nah, <laughs> it was her. And then she zoomed in on Kerry's face. Mm, <laughs> that is scary. Come on. Oh, the blue light that is mm. horrible. Oh, oh, I love that though. Come mm. on. That's epic. Wow. <laughs> No problem, you're actually okay. Thinking. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> so, guys, let us know in the chat on the main video. Let us know on the main video, guys, not in this chat on the main because we need to get some comments so that we can boost this video. Yeah. Who do you think is gonna be immune? Who do you think is gonna be the possessed person? I, I, want, I, I want it to be, I want it to be Yinran and Trish. That's yeah. what I want. I want it to be Yinran yeah. and Trish, but uh, uh, something tells me that it's not gonna be. But Let's, it, uh, the problem is, is that they never revealed on late and live how the person gets chosen. Yeah, yeah. They, they didn't reveal that. So I'm yeah. hoping it's a, I'm hoping it's a task that they can win. Mm. I just want it to be. I want it to be Trish and Yinran. I really do, because I'm trying to think what other combo. And then who? What? Okay, so you've said that. And then what three people do you want to be up? Mm. So okay, so let's so let's just so let's just choose the three people that we want up then because we don't know who's gonna win, but I mean who's gonna get the task. Mm. So who do you want up? I want up Dylan, mm. Kerry. Oh yeah. Kerry and Chanel. Really? Ooh, yes. Chanel. I'd rather Paul than Chanel. Oh. I'd rather Paul than okay, Chanel. Okay, not, yeah, not Kerry then. Mm. Not Kerry then. Not Kerry. Yeah? You don't want Kerry up? No, no, I want Chanel. I want Chanel gone more than I want Kerry. Mm. I want Chanel more gone more because Kerry is Chanel is sneaky. Mm. So guys, I don't know if you saw on late and live, but basically um Hallie called Chanel out mm. and basically said that Chanel is sneaky and mm. she she's a snake, mm. especially it goes around planting seeds right before nomination. Mm. And to yeah, fair, Zach Zach said the same and, thing. And, and basically music. she, mm. yeah, and basically she 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 claims that she don't like confrontation, but she's constantly being sneaky and talking behind people's backs. Mm. She starts it in it. She throws stones and holds and her hands. And hides her, her, hands, her yeah. hands. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm glad that Hallie calls her out. Do you know what I mean? I want, yeah. Okay. So I, I agree. So Waving Cat's design says Chant Chanel is more dangerous than Paul. I agree. Okay. So who's your yeah, yeah, Who's your Chanel. Yeah. Um, Dylan. Mm -hmm. and, and Paul. Paul. For me, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's who I want. I'd agree. Yeah. That's who I, I want agree. up. And then Immunity. I want um, Trish, Trish and Lockie and, Loki and, um, and Loki yeah. to be immune. I would like Trish and Lockie to be immune. Yeah. yeah. I would like Trish. Yeah. Because I, I don't think Yunran doesn't need it. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Yunran doesn't need it. She's so, not going to get a nomination. Yeah. So yeah. Trish and Lockie are the what two I want. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine yeah. if they get to pick? Yeah. I would love it. That would Black, be amazing. Black Woman Alliance. Yeah. Oh. That would be amazing. Be epic so. TV. And then I think. Um, yeah, yeah. So that was it. All right, guys, let us know in the comments, the comment section, who you, the three that you want to be up. Yeah, it'll be mm. nice to see what everyone else thinks. And what's today's emoji? Uh, should you do a pumpkin for, um, no, because you'll do that tomorrow. Oh, Halloween. Okay, let's do a pumpkin. No. All right, what then? Um, do a witch. <laughs> All right, I don't mind. Anything Halloween. -y. Anything Halloween, -y, guys. Halloween. -y. A witch, a broomstick. <laughs> Halloween. Anything <Whatever> Halloween. -y. <laughs> and guys, are any of you going trick or treat? Oh, guys, you know we were talking about this actually yeah. about trick or treat, and we were saying, what is the trick? Like, have you guys ever done a trick, or do you guys only if when you do the trick or treating, when you give kids sweets? Do you only give them sweets or have you ever given them like shit or stones or whatever? Given them shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because, because shit I, I, we, we don't really do yeah. Halloween. Like it's not really something we, that we do, but to be honest, every Halloween we get kids um knocking on our door. Like every Halloween, and, it, and it's it's non-stop. It is non-stop. So I said, I think this year I might actually buy some sweets. Where is it? 31st. Okay, I'm going to probably Go on Amazon. take a cab home. Huh? I'm going to need to take a cab home. Why? Oh, no. now you mean? No, not now. Like on, on the Halloween. on the yeah on, on that night. Yeah, I don't trust. They're Halloween. a bit. Like I've I've had people knocking at my door really late, and it's adults as well, and they, <laughs> and, and they weren't dressed in Halloween costumes. Like yeah. it's a bit. That that I don't yeah. think that was Halloween related. I yeah, just think someone was trying to yeah, kidnap bit, you. Yeah. So anyway, guys, um, thank you for tuning in. We we appreciate y'all. It's been emotional. It's been emotional. So um, yeah, um, can you thumbs up this video as well, guys? And if you like this video, um, leave a comment and give us a thumbs up. Yeah, comment and subscribe and hit the notification button because if you miss it, you, you miss, miss it. it. Toodles.